Trees aren't the simple climate solution you think they are. In trees, we already have a vacuum cleaner for the sky. These majestic species of all shapes and sizes soak up carbon dioxide and store it away for decades or even centuries. But we are losing trees at an alarming rate. We've lost 10% of the world's forest in the last 20 years. That works out to losing a football field worth of trees every second. If we want trees to be a climate solution to their full potential, we don't just need to stop deforestation, but reverse the trend by growing forest cover. Sounds simple, right? But years of trial and error have shown that it is not. Experts who have studied tree planting programs say there are three key lessons. One, grow a forest, not a plantation. Don't just plant one or two fast-growing species of trees. They may soak up carbon in the short term, but the lack of diversity makes them vulnerable to pests, droughts, floods and forest fires. Two, be careful in choosing where you plant the trees. Trees may soak up carbon, but they also play a significant role in absorbing or reflecting sunlight. Forests closer to the poles may actually increase the warming of the planet. Scientists have found that growing trees closer to the equator is much more beneficial. Three, beware the risk of green colonialism. If the world needs to plant a trillion more trees, then we will need land the size of China to grow them. That kind of expansion will pit human needs against global climate goals. Tree planting should not conflict with the needs of local people. Instead, working with local populations helps ensure that the trees remain sucking up carbon for much longer. Done right, trees will be a key climate solution. But trees aren't a get-out-of-jail card. They won't be effective unless the world cuts emissions first. This is Net Zero. I'm Akshatrati. For more stories like this, you can find us on your favorite platforms.